Thank you very much. Please come here all for seated at this point in time. Thank you. Senator Oluregi Tinobo, COF. Your Excellency, the wife of the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Her Excellency Hajia Nana Shetima. I'm wearing this one for my... Oh! <laughs> Well, let me say uh, Australian New Zealand was the best outing we've ever had in FIFA Women's World Cup. Like it was the best so far, the preparation, the dedication, the zeal and everything. Like I give kudos to Australia and New Zealand for hosting the World Cup and also kudos to the Falcons for going out there to show and to prove to the world that we are not just a pushover country, that we are there to compete with any country, you, you name it. So my, that was my happiness so far that we didn't go out there to you know, disgrace ourselves. Rather, we go out there to show the world that Africa and Nigeria are also equal to their tax. No, the first lady is just uh, said it. <laughs> yeah, like, I was so surprised and happy that the first lady of the Nigerian Federal Republic wants to host us. It was like an honor for the first lady to host us, and we feel happy for that. We being here today, like, it was like a dream, but that is what we really want, like, for our country and people in our country to appreciate our effort and really and we really say thank you to her for receiving and honoring us today we pray that out there we will not you know let her down we'll keep on working hard so that she can be inviting us more to the villa thank you so much i really feel the honored um when we heard that the, the first lady wanted to host us like it felt like yes you know, the country appreciate us and uh, they appreciate what we did in Australia. And I really feel honored, like myself and my teammates, you can see like they're happy. That's what, you know, when we, we appreciated, you know, when we mostly the first lady of Nigeria, uh, of Nigeria, you know, host us. It's everything, you know, it feels like we are appreciated. Everybody appreciate what we do. And I want to say a very big thank you to her, even before we went for the competition, you know, she gave us a, a very great, you know, a farewell, a farewell, or a very great uh, reception, you know, that motivated the team so well, you know, in going to play and making the, the nation proud. And it really helped us, it really motivated us. And now again, she's receiving us. We appreciate her so much. She's a mommy. Um. When we heard um, the first lady was watching us, well, everyone was excited. Um, it's a good one. Um, the president of Nigeria, his wife, watching the female team of the country playing. It's a good one and um, it's exciting. So that is it. So how do you see your future performance? Um, the future is bright. Everyone can see it. Nations can see it. The world can see it. That the future with the Super Falcon is bright. Well, I feel like uh, every other Nigerian uh, uh, because... Uh, they really done us proud, and uh, we are really happy about it. So I'm really, really, really happy about uh, their performance. Okay. We've been talking about uh, development of football in the country, particularly that of the ladies. What is the NFF uh, planning to do uh, to further develop the f football game in Nigeria? Well, uh, we're, first of all, we're trying to see how we strengthen the league. You know, we run f we're the female league. Uh, which has uh, the lower uh, level and the, and the senior level. Uh, uh, we just need to see, do everything possible to see how we can straighten it. And then we're trying to see how we can uh, start running the under 15 and under 17 of uh, uh, the ladies uh, competition within the country, which we intend to do on the, at all the, um, in all the states of the federation. Then we go to the zonal level, then we go to come to the national level for us to catch them young from all parts of the country. So that is what we are planning to do, and by the grace of God, we are going to commence the program very soon.
A lot of rumor on, on the uh, social media, particularly about the payment of your girls. Some are saying NFF threatening not to pay them because FIFA uh, paid some money to them. Can you clarify on this? Well, uh, well it's, uh, it's not true. Uh, whatever is the situation there, by the time that people conclude everything, uh, everybody will get to know the reality of things. And uh, what I want to assure Nigerians is that uh, whatever comes to us and that is for the players, we will surely make sure that it gets to the players. Okay, you. you've just been uh, received by the first lady of the Federal Republic. Your comment on that? Uh... Well, uh, we are really happy about it for her to stretch through her concern to receive them, uh, despite the fact that uh, they did not get to where we expect them to get to. Uh, because our expectation was uh, we want them to win the trophy. But this shows you the kind of leaders we have now. Uh, for them to, to try to see how they can encourage their subjects. Uh, and you saw how she was uh, excited when they were playing their matches. And then uh, this, uh, this singular honor will uh, make the girls to, to try and see how they can put, more, uh, put in more effort. Because uh, we are just uh, very soon going to start the qualifiers for the Olympics, which they are going to participate, which will take place in France next year. So it serves as a moral booster to them. And by the grace of God, uh, uh, we will see a lot of more performance in France if we qualified for the Olympics next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.